Hey yo, what it do you too? Back with a brand new video, man. Today, man, I'm gonna show you how to make a good thumbnail in the Share Factory on the PS4. So, to actually make a thumbnail, you know what I mean? Uh, all you gotta do is go down here to create a new project. You press on that. And there's very different, many themes you could use. You know, you could use many different themes. Let's say you're making a game. You're making a video on a certain game, you know, making a video on Evil Within, or a video on Fortnite, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, God of War, with Redemption, etc. Uh, you know, you pick that theme. So, let's say I'm going to make a Fortnite video. Bop, click it. Click that, and then, you know, there's very little nine screenshots you could use, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they have different art already put out for you but uh, you know let's say you want to use your own screenshot you know you have to you have to um, you have to get it on your uh, what's it called on your PlayStation so you know let's say you want to you want to get this cool screenshot of you was doing the heist mission in um, GTA 5 right so if you save the clip if you save the clip uh, all you got to do is go down to your go to your settings when you go to your settings on the PlayStation 4 you go down to storage and then you go to your capture and gallery and then you find the original capture and then you all you got to do is this take a screenshot from the thing uh, the exact moment you pause it the video you pause the actual clip and then from there all you gotta do is just take a screenshot from the PS4 with the controller so you just hold down the share button or however you have it in your controller um, but for now I'm gonna just show you how to do it uh, in the Fortnite art right here so down here uh, all the way in the bottom uh, you're gonna see edit photo Edit background, circle to back out uh, in your frames right there, you know, to pick a frame. And then uh, L2, you know, to zoom it in. So uh, the red knight right here, um, to edit the photo, you know, you just press X. You know what I mean? Uh, let's say you want to pan and zoom right just in the face. Or the weapon, you know, you could do that with here. With the left stick, uh, you zoom in. It's going to zoom in the middle. And then with the right stick, you just move it around. So you know what I mean. So however, however you want to do your thumbnail, you know, you can control it with that. When you're done, you just press X to confirm. Uh, you know, you got a, little, a lot of things you could do. You know, you could choose another screenshot, which, you know, you got to add another frame. You got to change the frame. You know, if you want to add another screenshot, it's going to be on the other frame, the other side, stuff like that. If you, if you could just going to do one picture like this, um, you know, you obviously just want to have it like that. And then, you know, you can add a filter to it. You can make it black and white. Uh, you can saturate it, make it pop out more. Um, you can make it real red if you want to do that. You know what I mean? You can make it blurry. You know, you could do, you could choose many different ones. Okay, that was just messed up with my eyes. But you know, you could choose many different ones. Um, you know what I mean? Choose very different ones. Uh, uh, clarity. You know, make it all clear and stuff like that. I actually kind of like this one. I, I use this a lot in my thumbnails in my videos. Um, but then the next thing, you can add like a little venditti vague Vic needy thing around it. So let's say I want to add a little black around it. Uh, let me actually let me actually just get this out of the way. So when you press square to edit the background, as you guys can see, the little white thing around it around the little screenshot. Uh, if you don't want that there, uh, it's really simple. All you gotta do is press square and then go to borderlines and you just the first one right. The first one you just put it all the way to zero and then that's how you know it zooms all the way out you know to get the full quality picture if you want if you want to put like a little background color in the back you know you could do that too uh, but for me I just like it like that but if you want to put a little background let's say you want to put the color black or red or something like that you just do that and then uh, you just choose color and then you know you could change the color around there and stuff like that but for me I'm gonna just do this right here so uh, back to the big DD part big needy part um, you know you can add a blur one uh, you can add like another kind of blur more you know blur this one be more black type you know what I mean um, and if you want to delete delete it just like that uh, in order to control how it looks like the the settings of it you just press X and then right here bring DD settings the intensity if you don't want it that blur you know you could change it with this you know what I mean you basically have control everything you can control everything here so we're gonna keep that like that and the next thing which you know is probably the most one of the most important things is how to add text 
So to add text, you're gonna you know press uh, X, right? You're gonna press X to edit photo, and you're gonna go down to add overlay. Uh, you go down here, you go down here to text, and there's very a lot of different very a lot of different fonts. There's a lot of different fonts you could use. Um, there's not there's not like many many many, but you know there's a good amount you could use. You know what I mean for your videos. So let's use the the reg original classic one, which would be this one right here. Um, let's say, say I'm gonna just put oh my god, red knight, right? Put that, and with this right here, as soon as you you know confirm it, you got this little option to transform it. This is where you put it, you know, wherever you want. Um, R1, I mean not R1. Um, yeah, R1. Th that's how you make it, you know, bigger. You know, make it bigger. Uh, you know, just put it like that with the bottom triggers um everything's in the bottom everything's in the bottom uh you know mean how to do it right there you could press a line square align it wherever you want the middle the left side or the right side um with the right stick you know you control it wherever you want to put it if you want to put it on the corner down bottom and right in the middle and then the top bumpers l1 and r1 you know make it how big you want it and how small you want it you know what I mean so let's just do it right here I'm gonna put it right, right there confirm that and then right here you know you can pick different colors for it if I wanna make it blue if I wanna make it purple I wanna make it black you know what I mean um you know everything's right there you know if I just wanna make it red I put everything to red and then the brightness to red but a boom so you know that's how you change the colors and stuff like that then the text effect the text effect is you know that's the regular effect this adds like a little black thing around which I actually like um, and you know there's different types of effects you could use there's a lot of different eff effects you could use uh, you know just play around look around through it and stuff like that um, and yeah that's how you add the text uh, of course here you can edit the text let's say you want to put a question mark you can just edit it right there if you want to delete it you can just delete it and layer order is just if you have many you can just align you know make it more organized uh, but yeah man that's how you do that right there um, if you want to add another photo it's not that hard you know just pick a frame that you like so I just, if I'm gonna add a photo let's say I'm pick this one one to the left, one to the right. I go to the right side. I choose screenshots to add, and then let's say I'm gonna add this right here. I'm gonna add that. Um, I just click the edit photo. If you know I just want to show the house, or if I just want to show the character, you know I pick that. And then yeah, man, just like that. You know if it's something similar, uh, you could just pick that. If you want to add, you can add up to like what 15 different. Uh, thumbnails pictures in one little in one screen so you know that's good you know there's many many different frames bro a lot of different frames you could use uh and yeah man it's uh, right there that's how to you know add with the frames but we're gonna stick with the one picture just the one picture of the red knight so you know just go back to the regular one which will be up here scroll up right there pop confirm it and then yeah man that's basically all for that uh, choose background is just if you had the little white thing in the around it filter we went over that everything you know what I mean and then when you're done when you're done you want to make sure you press square not square you want to when you're done you want to make sure you press triangle when you're done with your thumbnail so it will save it will render so I'm gonna do that right now just like that it it shares and all that and then it's gonna give you an option if you want to share it to Facebook Twitter and all that uh, just say share later um, because you know you're not gonna share the screenshot you're gonna make it as a thumbnail so when you're finished you want to press circle and you want to make sure you don't accidentally scroll down here and press this and then you know everything your whole project is all gone and stuff like that you want to make sure every time you're done or you know you're gonna come back later you gotta leave and then but you want to finish the video you want to make sure you press circle and then you want to make sure you press down here save project and exit I'm telling you I see a lot of people that accidentally you know make a big long video spent an hour and accidentally at the end just press exit without saving and their whole hour worth of video is all gone and you know that has happened to me it happened to me like the other day uh, but so you want to be very careful you know what I mean uh, press save project and exit 
so it saves and then you're all good when you want to come back you just press it and uh, and to add it to a video um, to add it to a video I'm gonna show you right now so uh, I'm gonna choose a theme I'm gonna just choose the regular uh, I'm gonna choose the Fortnite theme just because we're doing Fortnite um, so if you want this little intro thingy uh, you know you can pick that it comes already standard but if you want to deselect it you just press X on the check marks but a boom just like that and then we're gonna find a Fortnite game Fortnite uh, let's just pick a random one let's pick this one right here that one bop bop yep when you pick it you know start project continue just like that and then you have your whole 15 minute uh you know clip here and then with this you know you can obviously just do whatever you want uh you you know edit your video trim it and all that i'm gonna make another video on how to do how to actually edit videos in the share factory right now i'm just making how to make a thumbnail so we're gonna stick to the topic so we go all the way to the end when you finish editing when you finish with the whole video and you finish with your thumbnail or if you finish with your video first then you go make your thumbnail then you come back to the video and then put it as your thumbnail right so you finish with the thumbnail you finish with the video now all you gotta do is actually make the thumbnail so pe the people could see it so in order to do that you press X at the end at the end of the video you press add screenshot and then the screenshot that you saved earlier right is right here uh, Fortnite oh, I'm, oh my god red night uh, press that and then you just press add screenshot square and uh, at the end of the video you know say you know you finish your video and at the end uh, you press uh, square you split the clip so you know you could go start splitting clips um, and at the end you know when I finish my video ba 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 all that Fortnite uh, at the end you want to go a second in so right until if you see the bottom left you can see it goes from right here if I press X nothing will happen if I press X now then I can split the clip so it always waits a second for some reason I don't know why they do this but you know it waits a second uh, into the clip so you know you want to make sure you into the second you bop split the clip confirm then right here you just edit the rest couple seconds out because you don't want to have the rest of 10 seconds just you know just there looking at the thumbnail of the actual video so you just want to press square delete that little four seconds left and when you're finished bam boom you finish and it's just one quick second of the actual thumbnail at the end so to actually make it into the thumbnail you press options on the ps4 controller you generate the thumbnail bop project thumbnail saved and right after you export it to gallery it renders the video with the thumbnail and you name your video and then you upload it and that's it man that's how you make a video that's how you make the thumbnail in the video in the share factory uh you just gotta get used to it you know what i mean you gotta get used to it uh it was pretty hard for me to you know start understanding this it took me like a little while but now i fully under i fully get it i fully know how to do it and yeah man i just wanted to bring you a quick video on how to do this uh if you have any questions because i know this could get pretty confusing ask me them in the comments man uh i'll answer every single question you got man i'll try to respond as fast as i can and uh yeah man hope you had a good today Hope you have a better tomorrow. And I'm out, man. Peace.